high school sports fans. Are you following Varsity Media on our YouTube channel? For the best coverage of New York high school sports, make sure you head to youtube.com slash varsity media. Three easy steps. First, hit that like button, and then be sure to subscribe. And finally, tap that yellow bell to be notified of all of our upcoming sportscasts. Thank you for following Varsity Media on YouTube. It's an after-school special in Queens, New York, and Cardozo is the place to be for a Thursday afternoon PSAL matchup featuring the Francis Lewis Patriots and the Cardozo Judges on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. Alongside Brian Reichert, I'm John Perez. Brian, this is a great atmosphere here in the PSAL, one of the most prestigious schools in the country when it comes to public school. And with that said today, they're looking for their first perfect season in quite a few years. For Francis Lewis, they want to play the spoiler, and we'll see our impact players of the game for Francis Lewis today, as they're going to be led by Demetrius Contos as well as um, Lau and other players in the backcourt. Yeah, they're led by Contos uh, and their other senior you know, a lot of up and downs with this team, but they're stepping up. These two guys have been double-double machines and doing a really nice job. And there you see Christian Nunez, a transfer from St. Francis Prep. So that's Francis Lewis. They come in 2-11 and 11 on the year. It's been a tough year for Francis Lewis. We'll talk about that in a second. Meanwhile, for Cardoza, they're going to be led by two of the best players in the backcourt for the judges, and that is, of course, Jordan Walker and Brandon Barrett. Yeah, Jordan Walker, absolutely phenomenal year. Triple-double candidate, one of the leading guys in the PSAL, one of the top scorers, one of the top dogs. Cannot wait to see him. And Barrett, absolutely stepping up this year, doing some big things for the judges. So excited to see him, too. It's the judges. It's Francis Lewis. If, if Francis Lewis is going to knock off the upset today for Cardoza, what are the keys to the game uh, for the Patriots? I would say they have to bring their A game, John. You know, they're definitely going to have to play really well. They're going to have to clear the boards, play carefree, uh, match their energy, lock down defensively, and just have fun out there to play the spoiler. That's what they truly have to do. We'll take a quick break. It's senior day, and we'll have that presentation when we come back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Feel like your game film is too stagnant and not providing you with the insight that your coaches had hoped for? Varsity Media offers game film to help your coaches develop a game plan to execute on game day. Our current clients love the Varsity Media difference, which includes more insightful camera angles and a speedy upload process. 
Start building your championship team today with award-winning individuals at Varsity Media. We welcome you back to Queens. We're in Bayside. Francis Lewis and Cardozo. It's senior night here. And we will send it down to Cardozo head coach Ron Niclario for the presentation of senior day. And waiting for Coach Niclario to get to half court. And, you know, whether you're a four-year player or transferring in for Cardoza, it's always a special day, Brian, uh, for those seniors. Always. It's, it's a tremendous program. It's an honor to play for Coach Niclario. Now, as we wait for head coach Ron Niclario, and I think we're ready for a speech now, and the seniors that are being honored here as well.
He was at prep. He was at prep. Twelve seniors honored here at Cardozo, and Francis Lewis has to warm up, so we'll step aside when we come back. We've got PSAL Hoops on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050. And we welcome you back to Cardozo High School. It's the Patriots of Francis Lewis taking on 
the judges of Cardozo starting lineups about to be introduced. And, you know, that's the one thing about these two schools. They're not that far away. Francis Lewis obviously right down the road. And so it's a fun rivalry between these two. And uh, a lot on the line for Francis Lewis today, even though win number three would only be three wins in the regular season. Still an opportunity to knock off an undefeated 21-0 team, Brian. Yeah, exactly what we talked about uh, in our preseason keys to the game. Francis, uh, Francis Lewis has got to play free. They have a chance to play spoiler, and they should exactly be talk playing exactly what we talked about. Carefree, having fun, sharing the ball, and uh, trying to knock off an undefeated team. So it looks like we're going to get right to basketball. And we can just pop on the starting lineups quickly here as we'll look at Francis Lewis first. Francis Lewis, like we mentioned, 2-11 and 11 on the year as they're going to roll out their starting five of James Liu, Jonathan Walker, Christian Nunez, Demetrios Cantos, and Jaden Shen. And meanwhile, on the other side, for Cardozo on senior day, Joseph Ching, Joseph Puccio, Jordan Walker, Darius Mahai, and Brandon Barrett. Cardozo in the home whites, Francis Lewis in the road blacks. Ron DeClara, the all-time winningest coach in PSAL history, and he picked up his 723rd victory, the most in PSAL history, against this very program, Francis Lewis, just eight years ago. And a whistle, and the shot clock never started. And so they'll put time back on. Or at least they'll take time off the shot clock, and a little bit of an inauspicious start for the judges. Truly unbelievable how many wins Coach Clario has been able to put together, how many kids he's developed, sent to the next level. His numbers just continue to grow and impress. And so it will be Joseph Ching, the senior, who was the sixth man last year, but a very heady player to inbound it, and another whistle. And now another clock issue, and it'll be sorted out. You know what it is, you have the senior day ceremony and then you're not warmed up, Ryan. That's what's happening. Exactly, little nerves everywhere. Scores, table, referees. So now we're all set, 20 to shoot. And it's flipped in. And an early turnover, as that was James Liu, the junior. And then he throws it away, and Cardozo takes over. Looking for their 22nd win of the year. They would be undefeated again, and the knockdown jumper, it's Jordan Walker. He does that so well, Brian, averaging 22 points a game. Jack Lurie wants to get JP, and he's deadly from there. Cannot let Jordan Walker get to his spot, so he's going to eat you alive. Jordan Walker, the younger brother of Aaron Walker, who was on that SNY Invitational Championship team in 2016. In fact, Cardozo won back-to-back -back SNY Invitationals, and Walker a big part of that as the three ball knocked down. James Liu, he's only averaging seven points a game, and that puts Francis Lewis in front three to two. Took that with some confidence, stepped in and knocked it down. Early lead for Francis Lewis. Brian, we'll talk about it throughout the duration of this broadcast, especially Ron DeClaire. There's nobody who beats the drum more for his players. As Cardozo goes one and done, Darius Mahai off on the jumper. But... According to Niclario and yourself, there is a lot of potential D1, D2 talent on the floor for the judges. Oh, absolutely. You know, tons of seniors on this team, a lot of experience. And besides Walker, they definitely have a couple guys who I think can play at the next level. Walker denied. Christian Nunez, the SWAT, and the transfer from St. Francis Prep. He has some interest from CUNYAC schools in the Division Three level. And it'll be Cardozo basketball. Definitely an athletic play there. And so once again, Ching floated in, corner three, Mahai off the mark. And the rebound by Contos, averaging 10 rebounds a game, the leading scorer for. Francis Lewis wearing number 21 in black. A couple boards already. Lou driving, and is fouled underneath. 
And check that, they'll call the travel. So the near side official had a foul. Underneath basket official had a travel. And we'll see who gets the call. And it is indeed a travel. The two officials speaking it over. Definitely some contact there. Let's see what Jordan could run here and see what set Coach Sakaira is going to get him in. Under six minutes to play in the opening quarter. And Francis Lewis already showing his own. Yeah, you can already see an extended 2-3 zone out of them. Trying to force exactly that. Joe Puccio at the horn, misses the three, and Francis Lewis will take it up. It's Jonathan Walker, no relation to Jordan Walker, only a freshman, and playing well beyond his years. He's going to be a big piece to the Patriots' core in the future. Contos in and out on a three, and Mahai quickly ahead to Jordan Walker. Walker v. Walker, high floater, disrupted by Nunez, and Jordan Walker gets his own rebound, misses the three, and it's half back by Puccio. It's a foul, and Puccio will pick up his first. Over the back on Puccio there. Little out of control for Walker. Looks like a mass sub for uh, the judges. Yeah, it is senior day, so we will see uh, a lot of playing time for all of these players. Davion Walker comes in along with Justin Rosell Lagman. Joining Darren Gooden and Kezi Okwani. Three ball off the mark and a whistle. And so a push against Contos is first. Big man a little too aggressive inside, get a little too physical pushing guys around. Refs picked up that one pretty easy. Davian Walker, there's a ton of walkers in this game. Underneath, Gooden couldn't finish. And good defense by Jaden Shen, the senior for the Patriots. Shen receives it back, gives it off to Lou, and up top it's Jonathan Walker to slow it down. One thing that Gerard Giarleggio said that he wants to do is really control the tempo and not play at Cardozo's speed and play disciplined basketball. Easier said than done. Absolutely, especially the way the judges really control the pace, especially with Walker. But interesting to see how this second unit can uh, keep up with the starters from Francis Lewis. Fernando Yanoa drives to the hoop, short. Okwani can't save it, and here come the Patriots. Nunez definitely bothering some shots on the uh, inside for the judges, using his athleticism. And Nunez not getting playing time for the St. Francis Prep Terriers, so transferring to nearby Francis Lewis. And that's something that you'll see in the PSAL as well, players that are not getting playing time in the CHSAA. Uh, there are programs in the PSAL that want them in the basketball, uh, might not be at the level of the CHSAA, but there are plenty of programs that could give those Catholic schools a run for their money. Completely agree. PSAL has stepped it up, and there's always going to be a volume of transfers in and out as kids look to get playing time. Davian Walker denied. There's Nunez again. Boy, Christian Nunez has already had an impact in the first quarter. Absolutely. He's everywhere. Besides blocking shots, altering a lot, bothering guys, very active. The two walkers, it's Jonathan being guarded by Davian. Under three and a half to play in the first quarter. Jonathan Walker, the hook shot, it goes. The crafty move by Jonathan Walker. He's averaging 5.8 points a game and gives the Patriots a 5-2 lead. That was a strong take, huh, JP? Very confident. Well, he's playing well beyond his years. Nunez, another denial. Okwani met at the summit again. And Cardozo's gone cold to start off the contest. Might have hurt his wrist or his hand on that play, but man, two blocks. Very active defender. Nunez and Okwani. Now check that, that's good in. Contos. The kick out. Nunez lets it fly and hits the three. Senior day is turning into the Christian Nunez show as the Patriots have an 8-2 lead early on. It's a nice move by Contos to get inside to kick out. So Nunez created enough space for him to get a wide open three, which he connected on. Langman, the floater, that's good. Langman doesn't get a lot of playing time, but on senior day, he'll get some run today. Nice little floater from the senior. 
and some space at James Lowe. He had a three earlier and he traveled. And now the line change for Ron Clario, a 5v5. Don't mind the step through, JP, but you can't turn at the same time. That's going to be called a travel every time as they still are in this 2-3 zone. Jordan Walker, Darius Mahai, along with Brandon Barrett and Joe Puccio return. And the new player on the floor is Peter Dubris. Duvris also a transfer from St. Francis Prep is behind, cans the jumper, it's a three. And right on cue, he makes that extra pass. Big three for the judges. Under two minutes to play, Walker skips it over to Nunez. Not that time. Looking to move before he caught the ball, JP. Got to secure it first. Duvres thought about it. Running some great action underneath. A nice find to Barrett, but he can't finish. Contos, the nearest defender. It's a great look there. He's definitely going to regret not finishing that one. But a lot of good action underneath. I like what the judges are doing. Nice slip underneath. Chen, the pump fake, denied. Barrett, Contos lost it on the way up. And it'll stay with Francis Lewis, 33 to shoot. Contos, another rebound. Definitely a guy who seems to be in the right place at the right time. Contos lost it. Here's Walker, galloping into the front court. Off the mitts of Duvres, who gets it right back. Duvers had so much of this Cardozo offense. It's a three. Splash down. It's Darius Mahai. Ron DeClaro says he's the Austin Reeves to this team. Judges making extra passes. Walker on the four check. He'll pick up his first foul. And so only the team second. His officials are letting him play. And that's what you'll get in the PSAL as well. A lot of uh, rough and tumble basketball. You have a good flow so far to the game. Referee's doing a good job of letting these guys play a little bit. Game clock never started. And it's been like 25 seconds that are on the clock right now and about five seconds came off. And either way, here comes Cardozo into the front court. Mahai, another three, no sir. A little bit of a heat check there, JP. A little uh, force there. I don't know if I would have taken that. So the clock right now reads seven. Here's Nunez, a three. Connects. Second three for Nunez as time expires in the first quarter. And that shot missed. And that'll do it as Francis Lewis and Cardozo going head to head. And we'll get ready for the second quarter coming up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. This is Jalen Brunson, you're watching Varsity Media. Looking to grow your business on social media? Let Varsity Media help you. With over 50,000 followers across our platform, sponsor a segment during the broadcast and share it on social media the next day. It's the best of both worlds as you'll get thousands of plays and your ad will live on the broadcast forever. Contact us today for sponsorship packages by calling 917-470-0864 or emailing varsitymediasponsors at gmail.com. Little PSAL action here on a Thursday night in Bayside. Alongside Brian Reichert, I'm John Perez. And pretty physical first quarter, Brian, we saw so far. And some threes knocked down by Francis Lewis. Christian Nunez had a couple of threes. Darius Mahai for Cardozo as it took a minute, but we're starting to see the offense is flowing. Yeah, a couple hiccups with the clock, senior night, always a couple nerves. But the Patriots are doing a good job. A couple threes from Nunez as they look to get the ball inside. Ball swung around, it's Contos. 
Chance Longmore comes on, the senior for Francis Lewis, wearing number 23 in black. Look underneath as Contos will pull it back. Contos the leading scorer at 13.8 points a game. Here's a southpaw three, no good by Jonathan Walker. And Jordan Walker races into the front court. Ching Nadurez lets it go and hits. Great ball movement there by the judges. Making the extra pass. Duvrez grew up and went to PS 158, the junior high school. Not too far here from Cardozo and took his talents to St. Francis Prep, eventually transferred over to Cardozo. And he's been a big reason why the judges are undefeated this year as Walker fouls Walker, Jonathan, on Jordan. That's going to be Jonathan's first. Trying to do a little bit too much. The freshman turns it over. Actually picked up a smart foul there, slowing down the transition. Duvrez gets the inbound pass. Driving inside to the cup and lays it in. What a crafty move by Duvrez as he's got five in the first half. Not only a shooter, JP, taking the ball on the deck, which we like to see. Jaden Chen, hook shot, can't bank it in. Barrett the fight for the rebound with Shen. Not a bad look, JP, just a little out of control. Nice feed, Ching on the dime from Walker. And Francis Lewis has seen enough. Walker doing a little bit of everything out there. Rebounding, assists, couple steals, making plays for the judges. And so while we have a quick 30 second timeout, Let's get to meet one of the legends, of course, in New York State basketball. And basketball overall, there's only been three high school coaches in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Ron Claria hopes to be the fourth, and with a resume like that, uh, hard to believe that Springfield won't be calling soon. Yeah, is there anything that, that is uh, higher than a first ballot Hall of Famer, uh, JP? I mean, talk about a resume that is so deserving to go immediately in. Just one of the legends of... NYC and the PSAL, and one of the greatest characters I've met in my time in basketball. And an interesting character to say the least, and wears his patented um, Cardozo outfit. I think he still has it from when he started 43 years ago. Oh yeah, you can see him everywhere in his colors, always flashing it, always rep representing Cardozo, which you gotta love. You know, when Cardozo won the city championship in the 2013-14 season, um, the Clario in this game was at the Garden as Walker takes over. And watch Walker go to the cup and lay it in. Jordan Walker with seven points in the first half. The Clario came out in a suit, and everyone was aghast. Couldn't believe that he had showed up for the big game in a suit. Well, Cardozo's trailing at the half. He packed the orange shirt and the blue pants, changed, and he said, my team's not changing, neither am I. And he rode it home to a city championship as Darius Mahai picks up points four and five, and Cardozo leads it 21 to 11. Talk about a guy who knows his program, huh, JP? Knew he had to just change the outfit to get the momentum back going. Ball swung around. Here's Walker. Judges have a lot more length than I realized, JP. They're doing a great job of switching. The wingspan is really interesting. You've seen players like Mahai, Duvris um, have those large wingspans, and Walker goes up to snatch the rebound. Yeah, Walker as well has some nice uh, athleticism wingspan. Knocked down, Mahai again. It's raining threes for the judges. They go up a Baker's dozen. Nice little 14 0 run here. And timeout taken by Francis Lewis. And it'll be a quick 30 second timeout. And you know, when it comes to Francis Lewis and their struggles this year, uh, a lot of it is not their own fault. In fact, they've had three injuries, uh, three big injuries as well for this year. And there you see. So you got Declan Wong, broke his foot. He missed seven games. And then Preston Lau, and there's coach uh, Gerard Collegio, he's in the middle of the huddle, and he's not making any excuses for his team. He said it's been a fun group to watch and uh, watch develop, and a lot of guys have gotten an opportunity to play as well, but tough to see those injuries. 
Yeah, especially with their depth, you know, it's so hard to come back from that. It's it's difficult. And these guys have done a great job of trying to compete and, and, and develop and especially the bigs, guys like Nunez, they've stepped up with this opportunity. Guys like Walker, they're gonna get better with this opportunity and experience. Lou flips it into Shen. It's Francis Lewis trying to end the drought. Like you mentioned, Brian, a 14-0 run for the judges. Lou gives it up. Nunez lost the handle. And last touch by Francis Lewis. And the judges take over. Ching flips it into the front court. This is Malik Smart, the senior. Ronda Clario calls him the spark plug off the bench and immediately electrifies. Beautiful move across the lane. Not stopping the ball, and his athleticism is going to get right to the cup and finish. Nice move. He's only averaging three and a half points a game, but Niclero said he's had stretches where he could score eight unanswered points all by himself. Yeah, to have that guy coming off your bench in a league like this, that's a huge reason why they're having such success. Contos misses the floater, but Cardozo couldn't handle it, and another possession for Francis Lewis. Jonathan Walker up top to Nunez. Got to get the ball inside, JP. I'd love to see Contos get a touch. A little two-man action with Nunez, maybe. Contos hitting a growth spurt. Not really a post player. You're right, though. I'd like to see some interior presence as Malik Smart picks up his first and Cardozo's second of the half. And you can hear Coach... Screaming at his guard to get up and guard this guy all the way up to the half court line. That's just what the judges do. They apply pressure defensively. Jonathan Walker, ankle breaker, the pull up, no good. Million dollar move, two cent finish. Gotta finish it, we don't count it unless it finishes JP, at least that's my motto. Well, the one saving grace is he's only a freshman and he'll get better as time goes on. Jordan Walker misses the runner. And we'll stay with Cardozo. Yeah, and Walker's made the adjustment already with how physical the guards have been on him. Getting a little bit more physical back, which is what you have to do as a young guard. You can't be afraid of the contact. Adam Lung comes in, the junior. First year player for the Patriots. Dumped down low, Ching the fall away, banks it in. How about the evolution for Ching this year? He was coming off the bench last year, he was the sixth man. Uh, could have started, but Niclero said he really embraced his role and was ready to get into the starting five this year. Yeah, plays exactly the role that he needs to for Coach Niclero, does a lot, isn't afraid to play inside defensively either. Nice move inside for him. That was Jaden Shen, the starting power forward. And P.D. Duvris, another three. It's a 30 spot for Cardozo. Nice drive by 24 there. It was a beautiful finish. Judge is really clicking on offense. Duvris with seven as Shen with four unanswered points for Francis Lewis. Outlet it up ahead, Puccio. Good defensive stand by Walker there, walling up. Lou to the basket. Couldn't finish. Just yep. out of control there for the Patriots. The lob, Walker taps it in, offensive foul. Jordan Walker draws the charge. And an acrobatic move, but it'll be a turnover. Big time charge by John, little John Walker there, wow. He got a fire too, JP, you gotta love that. And that's the thing, too, that you get when you call up a freshman. Yes, they're going to struggle, and you're going to have your warts and bumps and bruises, but when you make plays like that, you're really playing uh, beyond your years, and it helps a lot. How about that finish from Jordan Walker, JP? Yeah. So for the college coaches that you talk to for Jordan Walker, what are they saying? G give me the skinny. Well, they love his toughness. 
They love his intangibles. They love his IQ. And I think he's right on the borderline, JP, of, of getting some of those offers and starting to roll. I think the season is definitely helping him. I think if the judges can make a nice little run in this playoffs, I think he is going to get that D1 offer that he's real close to. Just not sure where, but I think he could play at a lot of uh, low D1s right away and could uh, contribute. Slid over, Puccio. Jaden Assad gets the assignment on him. Jordan Walker. Off the mark from three. John Walker, the rebounds. Takes a tumble. It'll be Cardozo ball. So Duvers to inbound it. Ronna Clario says if Duvers wants to be a coach in the future, that's his calling. Sees Duvers as an extension of himself on the hardwood and Always good to have those types of players. Of course, Duver's frustrated for the turnover, too. Yeah, and you need those guys. And you, you could see number 24, always calm, cool, and collected out there, which is what you want to see. Near side, Nunez lets it pop, no good. Duver's the board. Good pass out by Assad, though. Duver to the basket, offensive foul. Second charge drawn by Francis Lewis. And the Patriots take over with just over a minute to play in the first half. And Patriots doing a good job defensively, hanging in there. Definitely was there with position. Good call by the ref. Just four points though, JP. They gotta get something offensively. They need a touch. Hopefully on the inside to Nunez. Foul along the baseline. Still not in the bonus, JP. One short. And Jonathan Lewis will bring it across half court. Kick out Nunez from the wing. Three off the heel and the wire above the rim, so it doesn't count. Back to back games, we've seen threes going off the wire. I'm going to play the lotto tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you never know. Second quarter has been all Cardozo. They've outscored Francis Lewis 19 to 4. Underneath, and there is Brandon Barrett, the senior, barreling inside for his first, first points of the half. And how about that? Almost every every guy on the court touched the ball for the judges. Beautiful basket. Jaden Azad. Walker. Grooves up a three. Too strong. 13 seconds to play. Walker, the turnaround. Baseline jumper, no good. Barrett saves it. Six seconds. Dubris. Fall away. Denied. Nunez. Walker, fade away at the horn, it's good! Jordan Walker beats the buzzer. How about that for a highlight play, JP? What a play. What a heads up. High IQ play right there. Let's watch it again. As Duver sets it up, and Brian, how'd they get this out? I mean, it was a nice block by Nunez, and Walker just wants it more than anybody gets to that ball, knows the time, and gets the shot up, and gets it to fall. What a bucket to end the half. So that'll do it at halftime. It's 35-15 Cardozo. We'll take a break when we come back. Second half coming up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Hey sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. 
When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Feel like your game film is too stagnant and not providing you with the insight that your coaches had hoped for? Varsity Media offers game film to help your coaches develop a game plan to execute on game day. Our current clients love the Varsity Media difference, which includes more insightful camera angles and a speedy upload process. Start building your championship team today with award-winning individuals at Varsity Media. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Did you know Varsity Media now offers action photography for all sporting events? Available for individuals or teams, we'll send dedicated photographers down to field level to capture your best moments. Our rates are affordable and our photos will leave you with lasting memories for a lifetime. Contact us today, mention this ad, and get $25 off your first order. Email ben at varsitymedia.net or call 516-403-2050. High school sports fans, are you following Varsity Media on our YouTube channel? For the best coverage of New York high school sports, make sure you head to youtube.com slash varsity media. Three easy steps. First, hit that like button, and then be sure to subscribe. And finally, tap that yellow bell to be notified of all of our upcoming sportscasts. Thank you for following Varsity Media on YouTube. Looking to grow your business on social media? Let Varsity Media help you. With over 50,000 followers across our platform, sponsor a segment during the broadcast and share it on social media the next day. It's the best of both worlds as you'll get thousands of plays and your ad will live on the broadcast forever. Contact us today for sponsorship packages by calling 917-470-0864 or emailing varsitymediasponsors at gmail.com. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. 
Hey, sports fans, did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Did you just have the best athletic year of your life? And now you want to show it off to college coaches? Well, let Varsity Media help you. Varsity Media's college recruiting videos show off your unique skills to help you land a spot on the team of your dream school. We'll provide music, spot shadow effects, and a link to send to your next coach. Contact us today for more information. Don't rely on word of mouth or cold emails. Let Varsity Media help you take your game to the next level. Feel like your game film is too stagnant and not providing you with the insight that your coaches had hoped for? Varsity Media offers game film to help your coaches develop a game plan to execute on game day. Our current clients love the Varsity Media difference, which includes more insightful camera angles and a speedy upload process. Start building your championship team today with award-winning individuals at Varsity Media. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Are you a local business looking for new and creative ways to promote your company? Varsity Media offers affordable rates that can get your message across to a demographic of 18 to 54 years of age. Our follower base across social media is over 50,000 strong and our viewership numbers per game are in the thousands. Don't blow your advertising budget on old staples like TV and radio media. Reach out to Varsity Media to get the best bang for your buck. Did you know Varsity Media now offers... We welcome you back to Cardozo High School as we get ready for the start of the second half. The judges with a 20-point lead going into the third quarter. He's Brian Reichert. I'm John Perez. And let's take a look at the standings in the Queens Quadruple A division. It's already been locked up by Cardozo. Look at a finish undefeated. And a lot of talent underneath, specifically John Bound. Yeah, JB's a tough squad. Really like Chris Judge. Uh, the other guy, Mitchell, on their team is fantastic as well. Uh, besides the two hiccups against the judges, especially the one that was super close, they've had a fantastic year. Love Coach Diaz, everything that th- that program stands for. I uh, would really like to see the rematch, another rematch, part three, uh, could take place in the playoffs, JB. It would be awesome to see. All right, so as we get ready for the start of the second half, I'll have you put your coach's hat on. Uh, and we'll start with Cardozo first. What is Ron Clario telling his team? That second quarter was a great quarter, JP. That's, that's what I would be telling. I thought they did a great job defensively, uh, spread it around. You know, now that the Stars are back in, they got the flow going. Uh, just keep the pedal to the metal. Do not let these guys hang around and put them down early because it's senior night. They want to get everybody in, get extended time. So these guys got to take care of business. I'd be all over these guys. And for Francis Lewis? We got to hang on. We got to get some inside pressure. We got to get some inside touches uh, defensively. We got to stay connected. Way too easy for the judges in the second quarter. Get back to what they were doing in the first, hitting the inside and kicking it out. Jordan Walker led the way with 10 points for the judges in the first half as Cardozo connected on six threes. A pair of threes for Darius Mahai, Peter Dubris, and Jordan Walker. And there's the first three of the second half. It's Joe Puccio getting in on the action. There's another one. Even at time to uh, dribble pull up, which makes it a little harder. 
Puccio's an interesting build, 6'6". Six, six. Uh, good wingspan, good shooter. Could project at that Division II level, ECC, any 10 play. Yeah, I could see him playing there. I love his length, his size, his IQ. Definitely nice, uh, he can create his own shot, big time shot maker. I'd like to see him get a little bit more involved because he could do a lot. Joseph Ching in the driver's seat at four points in the first half. Comes off to Jordan Walker. Mahai, a three. Not that time. Ching clashes in for the rebound and then a foul. Looked like it was offensive, even though that looked like a clean rebound to me. Well, Ching will pick up his first. And the team's first of the quarter. You know, Walker got that double screen. He, he, I thought 14 was going to backdoor, but the way he's been shooting, I understand him popping out for the three. Comes Jonathan Walker. Walker, a bright spot for Francis Lewis in the first half. Only two points, but some veteran moves, drew a charge. He's got a lot of upside. Yeah, a couple of big passes. I mean, he's going against one of the top guards in the city, so this is a great experience for the young man. Lou in the corner, tries to drive baseline, only four to shoot. Three ball, Contos book it. Nice release, confident, big time three. Puccio looking for number two, not that time. Fight for the rebound, Barrett was down low with Contos. Great hustle by the big man. No wonder Coach Declario loves this guy. Yeah, Brandon Barrett, interesting story in development with Ron Declario. The two met in the park, uh, down the street, he said, and the Brandon Barrett was about 100 pounds heavier than what he is now and in a better playing shape as Ching. Puts it right in, he's got six points. Nice steal, nice pass. Jordan Walker trying to take away uh, the opposing Walker for the Patriots and doing a good job. 6'11 to go, third quarter. Walker couldn't hold on to it. Had a steal there, hate to lose that. Nunez walled off in a fresh possession. On a reset for Lewis. Lou, a three. A couple of threes from the Patriots early on in the third quarter, positive sign. Walker trying to put Francis Lewis on a poster, but denied by the rim. Oh my goodness, just a burst of athleticism. This kid can fly. Was not expecting that, JP. Walker's got a lot of bounce. So does Jonathan Walker in the future, he banks it in. Four for John Walker. Becoming a man today on the floor. Love his energy, his passion. Definitely having a nice bright, a nice game for Francis Lewis. Joseph Ching, Brandon Barrett, a three. Not that time. That might not be the shot that the judges want, but on senior night in a big lead, anything goes, Bry. Took it with confidence. Definitely didn't look strange on taking that shot, so why not? Five minutes to play, third quarter. Shen off the mark. Patriots are hustling, JP. They're definitely not giving in. Nunez, head fake. Lou in the corner with Ching. Good job by coach to get a play call here. Getting a little stagnant by the Patriots. Jordan Walker hits the deck with Jaden Shen. Trying to square to free, does Ching L it up ahead, Mahai. They got numbers. Open man, and that's Puccio off on a three. And the Patriots take over. I know Coach DeClaire didn't like that three on one, and we take a somewhat of a contested three. Good stop for the Patriots. Peter Duvers comes back on for Cardozo. Duvers, a positive spark plug off the bench. Good save by points. Coach Clario. Three number 24 in white. Jaden Azad. Quick double screen for Walker. Nice pass to drive. Jaden Shen, not that time, but Contos to follow. Five for Contos. Lead down to 15 and make it 17 now as Ching's got eight. Beautiful move inside, patience. Steal by Walker here. 
Walker can't tap it back in on the first try, but he muscles his way in. Try and try again. Jordan Walker successfully puts it through. He's got 12. And the lead up to 19 for Cardozo. Padding those stats a little. JP adding a couple of rebound numbers there. He's got to be closing in on triple double watch. Under three and a half to play in the third quarter. John Walker off the screen. Pops on a three. Doesn't get the roll. Contos to follow, not that time. Trickles out of bound, last touch by Cardozo. These probably have to be the softest gyms, uh, softest rims in all of the PSAL, Brian. I completely agree, JP. It's a fantastic point. I noticed that during the pregame. Cannot believe how soft these rims are. You have to wonder what came first. Uh, Ronda Clario with these rims. Jaden Azad, only a sophomore. It's picked up by Duvris. Blast to the cup, no, nice follow underneath Nunez. Nunez, a senior, leaving it all out in his last career regular season game. Definitely a nice athlete, JP. Ooh. That's a nice stroke, too. Duvris cans another three. He's got 11. Having a fantastic game. Not even sure he's breaking a sweat, JP. Very easy, nice, calm, collected, like I said. Big time three. Twenty point lead for Cardozo. Two twenty to play in the third. Bad pass out of bounds. Another turnover for the Patriots. Walker struggling a little bit with the double team there. It was a nice press by the judges there to force a quick turnover. Lead up to twenty. Jordan Walker steps out of bounds, and Brian, as we sit here late in the third quarter and we see Cardozo figure it out offensively, and they've run rough shot through Queens, now you expand the boroughs. How does Cardozo rank amongst the rest of the PSAL? And I'd have to imagine one of the favorites to take home the city crown. I definitely have them in my top five of uh, the PSAL right now, and I even have them in my top ten of all the teams in New York at the moment. Just the way they're playing, their depth, the way that they could shoot threes. And they're not constructed like a lot of the teams, which is nice. They're they're kind of a wild card. A lot of seniors, a lot of guys can hit threes. They're going to be a tough out for anybody uh, in this uh, PSAL as they try and get to the championship game. Well, who are those other four that you mentioned? Yeah, I really like South Shore. Both Eagles have been fantastic. Uh, James Monroe's a sleeper. You know, some teams like that up there. Uh, and with the judges as well. And uh, John Baum, like we talked about a little earlier. Definitely a bunch of those teams in the mix. Foul coming on Puccio, that's a second. And this will bring his odds to the line. I always felt like Queens is a slept on borough. 100%, and there's a lot of talent. I think the issue outside of Cardozo is sustained excellence. And so there were spurts earlier in the decade, and this I mean the teams, where construction was huge and high school for teaching. And absolutely, um, obviously John Bound is still very good. But you know, you know New Yorkers too, it doesn't mean anything until you win the big one. And how about Puccio, another triple, he's got six. Yeah, these, these, these wing players they have at Cardozo are terrific. Size, they, they're playing great defense, they're spreading the floor, hitting threes. 24 and three doing a really nice job together out there. Officially under a minute to play in the third. James Lou got off to a hot start, it's been cooled off since. Azad skips a pass. Nice find underneath, Nunez, and one. Judges blitz there, and uh, Nunez made him pay for it. Nice finish. Gonna be Joseph Ching second. And so Nunez to get three the old fashioned way.
Not that time for Nunez. He's got 10 points for Francis Lewis. He's, he's had a nice game, you know, as one of our impact guys. He stepped up. Duver is off the mark. The tap by Puccio. Not that time. And Azad springs out of the pack. 25 seconds to go in the third. Would hold for one, try and get a shot here from Contos or maybe Nunez. Would take my time though, would not let the judges get a shot. John Walker, six seconds to go. Let's it go, denied by Jordan Walker, three seconds, two, this is a half court heave. Good if it goes, almost went down. Davian Walker, this would have been a four pointer. Looked good for a second, JP. Looked like Walker maybe wanted to foul on that. Cardozo's looking good. We head to the fourth with the judges leading Francis Lewis on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Hey, it's Isaiah Hartenstein. You're watching Varsity Media. Hey, sports fans. Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050, or email ben at varsitymedia.net. Back here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, Cardozo with a 50 to 31 lead. Petey Duvris really knocking his shots from downtown as he's got 11 in the first half. And let's get to know Mr. Duvris, favorite athlete, Jalen Brunson. I mean, hey, why not? Um, check out the pregame ritual, a uh, coach's dream, and then the funniest thing Coach DeClario does. Yell. <laughs> and he does that well, doesn't he, JP? Nice roll of the hoop. Nunez, not that time. You know, if you do want to get into coaching, which Duver certainly has the pedigree to do so if he wants to, um, I don't think there's a better person to learn from the high school level than Ron Naclario. Thousand percent. Just sitting on that bench, you're basically being trained almost as a coach during the time. And if you really have a passion for it, just stick around Coach Naclario and just be a sponge, everything you could soak up. You could learn years of experience just by sitting around that guy and talking to him. Darius Mahai picks up his first personal as Lou, second free throw, no good. And comes up empty. And then a quick foul, John Walker on Duvris. And for Walker, that's his second. Corner three, air ball. Davian Walker couldn't connect. Another thing, JP, I think it's fantastic that Varsity Media and, and these, and you know, the company is, is giving these guys some shine and some love because there's a lot of talent in the PSAL. It's a great league. And just to see these guys get an opportunity for other people to see them play is great. No, it's a lot of fun. And we'll throw up the graphic in a second if you want us to come to your school as well. and to book a sports cast and get you the information momentarily, let everyone take out their uh, pens and papers. And after this first free throw by Duvris, uh, excuse me, Mahai knocks it in. If you're looking for Varsity Media to come to your event, well then contact Varsity Media Sponsors at gmail.com or call 917-470-0864. You mentioned this ad, you get 25% off your sports cast. Mahai with eight, and here's John Walker. You're right, you mentioned those schools too, Eagle Academy, uh, Jefferson, Brooklyn Law and Tech. A lot of talent in the PSAL. Duvers, nice feed, Mahai, the offhand layup falls. Yeah, the Eagles, South Shore, James Monroe, some of the schools I mentioned, Brooklyn Law and Tech, like you said, Epic South. This, this, the list goes on and on of the amount of talented programs in this league. And they can compete with anybody. Yeah. 
Here's Contos, a whistle. And a quick timeout taken by Francis Lewis. And while we have a break in the action, let us tell you that Varsity Media is your home for the 2023-2024 CHSAA playoff. Subscribe on youtube.com slash varsity media. You don't want to miss it out. Some of the top schools, and who knows who's going to win. Nazareth knocks off Christ the King the other day. Uh, Christ the King a little uh, bumps in the road. Dwayne Pierce now out for the year. Uh, Pong uh, was not 100% against the Kingsmen. And then, of course, you've got Stepanak, Boogie Flan, Danny Carbusia. Uh, who knows? Maybe there's a dark horse. But either way, Varsity Media will have all the action this spring. Yeah, a lot of parity in the CHSA and the PSAL. A lot of Long Island as well. So much parity around the state of New York. A lot of toss-ups. The playoffs is going to be fantastic. And this is what we have coming up here, Brian. A lot of talent on the Varsity Media Sports Network. What sticks out to you? Yeah, the St. Francis Prep at St. Ray's. St. Ray's has been unbelievable this year with just two, hicks up, two hiccups to Stepanak. St. Francis Prep really heating up with a lot of talent. And the Long Island Catholic League is is starting to really ramp up. Talk about parity. Seems like almost any team could win that. Uh, so that'll be real exciting. How about St. Anthony's with some wins on the road too? We'll have the Friars and Flyers later in the month. Finally into February. We made it, huh, JP? Here's John Walker with one second. Azad off on a three. And a shot clock violation. Really tough, JP, after a timeout. Just just too much dribbling. Ball sticking. They got to move it. They're much better when they're swinging the ball around. Back into the zone. It's Fernando Yanoa. Jumper off the mark, and here's Contos. Clario giving Yanoa some run. Came on early in the first quarter. Now going coast to coast, Fernando Yanoa, don't you know? Getting aggressive with his opportunities, you gotta love it. First bucket of the contest for Yanoa. One of those 12 seniors honored before the game. And as we'll start to see the Clario empty his bench throughout the quarter. Under six minutes to play, Nunez drills the jumper. Been consistent all night, JP. Very impressed with Nunez. Done a very nice job in his opportunities. 12 points for Nunez against Cardozo, the top team in the division. Do rest a three at that time. Foul underneath, called against the uh, against Cardozo. And that'll be on Yanoa, his first. Zhao Lin Lee comes in, the freshman for Francis Lewis, from 31 in black. Backcourt violation. Call against John Walker. And good defense by Jordan Walker. Patriot coaches don't seem to like that call too much. You know, Brian, for Cardoso, they got a big lead in this game. Obviously, five minutes left, but... It always seems like there were learning lessons out there as uh, Malik Smart off on a three. And, you know, what do you look for for Cardozo in these final five minutes, a team that wants to sharpen itself for the playoffs? Well, you know, in senior night, it's always nice to get kind of uh, use this as a morale opportunity to kind of lift up the guys on the team, you know, get some other guys involved, get their numbers up, get a better practice from these guys playing well. Every opportunity that the judges play, they just need to work on their defense, work on their communication. These guys have all the pieces to make a super, super long run. They just got to stay together. Hook shot falls, and that's Jaden Shen with six points tonight. Yaw Pabi Jr. comes in, wearing 13 for Cardozo. He'll handle the rock on the far wing. Judge is working the 2-3 zone a bit. Jordan Walker, a three. And DeClario calls a timeout. 
That might be our last play of uh, Mr. Walker's night. Yeah, for Walker, getting it done in all facets. 15 points tonight, close to a double-double. And he'll take a seat as Niclario empties his bench. Business as usual for Mr. Walker as he continues to prove he's an all-city player and is right up there for PSA Player of the Year. And take a look at the success that Cardozo's had too, always at the top in the PSAL and specifically in Queens. Oh yeah, especially you could even go back more years and more years. They always have a positive record. You know, to have 27 wins over the last three years on top of this year, definitely doing a great job. Four minutes to go, fourth quarter. But all Cardozo from the second quarter on. Corner, Nunez, he's been positive for Francis Lewis at that time. Quality look, though, going inside to outside. Duvers, nice Euro step. And the bucket. Beautiful move to set up Walker there by leaning in right to get back to the left. Excellent finish. 13 for Duvers. He's really impressed me, JP. You know, a guy I didn't know much about, knew he was having a solid year for the judges. Can really do a lot. I, I could see him definitely contributing to the next level somewhere. Contos. Let's it go. Mid range jumper. That's good. Well, Contos, the leading scorer, was held scoreless in the first half, and he's responded with seven points as Niclario will have a rolling timeout just to get his subs in as he brings in Mandir Singh, the senior. Duvers will head to the bench. And a good night for Duvers. Always a stressful night, senior night, JP. You gotta make sure you get all the guys in, keep everybody happy, don't let anyone down, and of course, you gotta get the win. And there you see Fernando Yanoa, as well as Darren Gooden getting on the floor. And I don't, you see Niclario talking to Mandir Singh. He hasn't stopped pacing all night. It started in pregame. He must have walked around the court about 100 times. He's been just working that sideline as he always does, coaching every second, every minute he can. His keys have to be 100 pounds, too. A sing off on a three. He's not sneaking up on anyone, JP. Let's put it that way. No. <laughs> I bet you he, they're not labeled those keys, and he probably knows the door to each one of them. I think we could take all those keys off the ring, hand him one by one, and he could tell us exactly which key goes to where, just on field. Jaden Nazad on the entry feed. John Walker. Stepped out of bounds and we'll stay on that end. While this second half has slipped away a little bit from the Patriots, the future's bright with guys like Walker, Assad. You know, they're gaining experience in this tough league. And by the time they're seniors, they, they might be a dangerous group. I think James Liu is a good player, too. Averaging six and a half points a game. The step in, Gooden. Drives baseline, Darren Gooden to the cup. Can't put it in. Mandir sing the follow. Great finish as the crowd roars. Definitely want a good to finish that one. That was a nice steal. Acrobatic finish by Singh. And he comes in to grab the rebound. Singh's getting it done on both ends of the floor. The weave, Pobby denied from behind. Nunez, just such a terrific athlete. Nice block. 150 to go in the fourth. Nunez was held, and Singh will pick up his first, and the team's third. And so Malik Smart will head to the bench. Azad. And 
now just another foul, and that one will go to Yopabi Jr. Might be in the bonus. Yeah, that is the fifth. So a good call as John Lewis will head to the line. Or John Walker, excuse me. Oh, that was away from the play, so check that. That's Jaden Shen to the line. He's got a 99 GPA. He's been the glue guy for Francis Lewis. He's on the varsity last year, didn't play that much, and got a lot of minutes regardless of the injuries. He was going to get a lot of playing time and really flourish for Francis Lewis. Good offensive rebound. Tapped up ahead. Here's Singh. Singh, the drop off, and Yanoa puts it in. The seniors playing well for the judges down the stretch. Got to love it. You know it with four points. Singh with two points, an assist, and a rebound. Triple try off the mark. Lee couldn't stick it. Here's Yanoa, drive to the basket off the window and puts it in. You know it with six. 55 seconds to play in regulation. It's been all Cardozo. This guy's want some playing time, huh, JP? Got to love it. I wish every night could be senior night. Azad. Nice feet in the corner, take it away, Yanoa. Has his pocket picked, Walker. Nunez, for one more point, can't get it. We'll stay with Francis Lewis. Good block by Gooden there. 23 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Love that speech coach made about him giving up the surgery to stay with the team and help them out. Got to respect that. And what should be one of the final possessions of the game? Jaden Azad will slow it down and the shot clock turned off. Off the window, no good. There's Gooden. And that'll do it. Cardozo's undefeated season stays intact as they knock off Francis Lewis 67 to 38. Peter Dubris and Jordan Walker each finish in double figures as the judges are now 22 and 0 headed into the PSAL playoffs. We'll step aside when we come back. We'll wrap it all up next on the Varsity Media Sports Network. You're watching Varsity Media, New York's high school sports network. Hey, sports fans. Did you know Varsity Media live stream broadcasts get viewed by college coaches nationwide? Through our announcer's storytelling and insight on your athletes, we can help your players get an edge on college recruiting. Find out how by reaching out to Varsity Media today, 516-403-2050 or email ben at varsitymedia.net. When it comes to advertising, are you hitting the right audience? Why waste your time with television or a free print publication that's given out at a local deli? Varsity Media has your back. With a following of over 50,000 and a local demographic ranging between the ages of 18 and 54 years old, it's time to get that return on investment. Plus, here's the best part. Your ad lives forever on our YouTube page. And with a large on-demand audience, it's a grand slam to advertise with Varsity Media. Varsity Media offers live streaming services for any sport. With human beings behind the camera, you can expect the proper coverage angles during each game. We offer customizable options such as live scoreboard, multiple cameras, instant replay, graphics, and even announcers. Find out how you can save $100 off a live stream package with Varsity Media by calling 516-403-2050 or email Ben at Varsity Media. Back here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, it's a party here in Senior Day, and Peter Dubris, our player of the game, 13 points in the victory. And uh, Peter, I know it wasn't a four-year career here at Cardoza, but can you sum up your time here with the judges and how it feels uh, to be a Cardozo judge? Uh, I've been playing with these boys all AAU season, so we already had a connection when I came here. We just put in the work, 
and we were always ready. For you specifically, what was it like to come on to this uh, team and gel with these guys so instantly and still carry this undefeated season? Uh, our connection, I came in, started a little slow. As the season went on, I got more comfortable, and we just went out from there. How about your confidence today, too, knocking in a couple of threes? I know that this isn't a one-time thing, but how has your shot developed over the past year? Uh, in the work, off-season, behind the scenes, getting as much shots up as I can. That's it. Still an undefeated season, going to the playoffs. Coach Ron was talking about how he never knows when that first loss is going to happen. Sometimes he wants it. You guys can't lose going on now, but how do you like your chances going forward? I think we're in a good, very good spot. However, the city playoffs, however we seed, I think we'll do very good in the playoffs. All right, Pete, we'll let you go enjoy with your team. Congratulations on the victory and good job here tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Peter Dubris, our player of the game on the Varsity Media Sports Network. As Cardozo with a win here on Senior Day. As Dubris is our player of the game, and that'll do it for our entire crew here. And what a day it was for Cardozo in their undefeated season continues. For our executive producer, Ben Turchin, technical director is Becca Kazax, Travis DeLuise, and Ron Pierre giving you the moving images. For my partner, Brian Reichert, this is John Perez saying so long from Cardozo High School. This has been a presentation of PSAL Boys Basketball on the Varsity Media Sports Network.